then inevitably what happens is that you'll get involved in uh, uh, location hunting sometimes, but uh, mostly location approving. Really there's a, a kind of pre pre recce where the director's just looking at everything. Once the director has some favourites, that's when I want to see them. I would hope that I'm brought on early enough um, in the pre-production schedule to actually go and look at locations with the director and to, to be there to, to be part of the discussions. And, and I try and spend as much time on the locations as I possibly can just to get a real sense of how the light works in the location and a real sense of, of, of the, the physical elements within it and how the actors might move within the space in relation to the script itself. You know, if all the rooms that you're filming in are on the fourth floor, it's a problem, you know, and it's not that you can't resolve them, you can. Does it have to be on the fourth floor? Can it be on the lower floor so that you can get the lights in the right place? And if, you know, if, if the, the room is facing south, it means as we have today, the sun goes up and down like a yo-yo and it becomes a problem. So you get there all of a sudden and it, it's five stories up, it's south facing, there's no lift, it's white walled. Um, it's, how are you going to shoot that? It's going to be a, a, a really impossibility. So you, you want to come in early to sort of say, well, of the three we saw this day, that one really doesn't work, this one will. So you want to get in there early enough to be able to steer people to something that will actually work on the, on the shoot. So you go with the production designer and the director to all the locations and try and if there are alternatives to make it easier for filming so that you can control the light and that's what we do. We control the light and we want as much control as we can of the light and, and the way of lighting, the better. And then you have to start uh, talking about, well, I'd, we're going to fit it into, say, the 007 stage. It's only so long and so wide. Where am I going to put my lights? Um, I know you want it a little bigger, but um, then I've got no space left. And basically, it is like a giant kind of Meccano um, or, or Lego uh, set. You know, if you're going to build an exterior set, well, how are you going to put it into the sun? You know, when we make the Colosseum, we move the Colosseum a bit so that the sun was, you know, you think, well, during the course of the day, we're probably going to be shooting mostly sort of middle of the day to after lunch. The sun will be there. Let's, let's just clock the, the Colosseum round a bit to get that afternoon light coming through the, the things. And so, you know, so you have those conversations, you build models, and I, you know, it's great to have a model, and you, you can all go in and talk about it, you know, what, you know some one twelfth scale. And then there's environments that we have to create in certain films, for example, Cinderella or Thor, that um, just don't exist. For example, Jotunheim just doesn't exist, or that ballroom doesn't exist. Um, so you actually start working with a production designer, costume designer, the choreography, the fight sequences, etc. And you start from sketches pretty much, which are like storyboards and that become um, animatics, that become sometimes previs. Um, and you, you kind of all talk and put your influences in there and you gradually build this world. And all the time as well, I, I take a lot of stills photographs on the locations and I take them back and I put them into the computer and I go into a program called Lightroom. And in Lightroom, I format them I put them into the correct aspect ratio and then I grade them and look at different grades um, and different looks, which I then sit down with the director and, we, and I'll put on a little slideshow and we'll look at the different locations and the different color grading and use that as a tool to try and, um, and sort of finalize an overall approach to, to the color and feel and density of, of the project.